A fourth degree equation. X to the fourth minus five X squared plus four equals zero. Most people see this and think they need calculus, the quadratic formula, maybe even numerical methods. But here's the thing. I'm going to show you two completely different ways to crack this wide open, and both are surprisingly elegant. Watch this. The key insight is that there's a quadratic equation hiding inside this fourth degree expression. Let's look at this equation more carefully. Notice the relationship between the powers of x. This term, x to the fourth, is really just x squared, all squared again. When we write it like this, something interesting emerges. See how x squared appears twice? This pattern is begging for a substitution. Let's define a new variable u to represent x squared. This is called substitution, and it's going to make our lives much easier. Now replacing every x squared with u, we get u squared minus 5u plus 4 equals 0. This is just a standard quadratic. Now let's solve this quadratic for u. The cleanest approach here is to factor. We need two numbers that multiply to give us 4 and add up to negative 5. That would be negative 4 and negative 1, giving us this factored form. For this product to equal zero, at least one factor must be zero. So either u minus four equals zero, or u minus one equals zero. Which means u equals four, or u equals one. We found u, but we need x. Time to substitute back. First case, u equals four. Remember u was x squared, so x squared equals 4. Taking the square root of both sides, we need to remember that both positive and negative values work here. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 4, which is x equals plus or minus 2. Second case, u equals 1, so x squared equals 1. Same idea. Take the square root, keeping both signs. x equals plus or minus the square root of 1, which is x equals plus or minus 1. So putting it all together, our four solutions are negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Notice the symmetry there. We've got our four solutions algebraically. Let's see what this looks like on a graph. Let's plot y equals x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4. The solutions are where this curve crosses the x-axis. And here's what that looks like. Notice the characteristic double valley shape. And there they are. The x intercepts at negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. The graph confirms exactly what we found algebraically. There's another, even more direct way to solve this if you can spot the pattern. Let's go back to the original equation. Instead of substituting, we can try to factor this by grouping. The key is to split this middle term, negative 5x squared, into two more convenient terms. We can rewrite it as a negative x squared minus 4x squared. Now we can factor by grouping. We'll factor a common term from the first two terms and another from the last two. From the first pair, we factor out x squared. From the second, we factor out negative 4. And just like that, a common binomial factor appears, x squared minus 1. Factoring that out, we're left with x squared minus 4 times. x squared minus 1 equals 0. Now, notice that both of these factors are a difference of squares, which can be factored further. x squared minus 4 becomes x minus 2 times x plus 2, and x squared minus 1 becomes x minus 1 times x plus 1. From this fully factored form, we can see the solutions immediately.
Setting each factor to zero gives us the same four solutions we found before. If you enjoyed this, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.